Hello again, friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to Tropico. We're doing our very own sandbox builder here, starting on the channel. It's going to be a series where we build a wonderful island paradise in Tropico. Welcome back, everybody. If you want to see a full playthrough on this one, and if you want to choose which way we go down, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button and comment what you'd like to see this island become. A military fortress? A communist haven? A tourist paradise? Much more. Go ahead and let me know down below in that comment section. First things first, we need to liberate ourselves from our oppressive rulers. We are a colony right now of the Brits or the French or the Spanish, whatever, but we are going to have ourselves a revolution, and it's going to be soon. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to first and foremost actually move our palace somewhere more glorious. I think we need to move it up, up somewhere very high. And there's some resources up here that we're probably going to use, but, of course, El Presidente is not going to have his palace down there. Oh, absolutely not. No, no, no. We must build it up here. There we go. Fantastic. We're just relocating it. Put it on a truck, and there you go. All right, we overnighted it to the top of the hill. Fantastic. This game, by the way, coming out on PC uh, January of 2019, so if it's a game that you love, if you love the previous Tropico, I think you're going to love this one, too. So we're going to build a bunch of plantations and get things started. We have our countdown timer already ticking away, and we have tasks coming in, including some trades. So let's go ahead and start trading some stuff with the crown. Looks like they want some coffee, tobacco, meat, pineapple. What do we have going on over here? Huh. We have a banana plantation, so maybe we can find one of those. I doubt it, though. Let's see. Raw resources. Uh, oh, looks like they also want rum, so we should get to going with sugar. All right, there's no contracts we can have at the moment. Well, let's go ahead and at least start uh, building our glorious nation a little bigger. I started with a little bit more money and a little bit more population just to speed things up. No sense in waiting around when we can get uh, started right away. We also need to name our island. I've got an idea, but if you want to pick a name for our glorious island, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments section, too. All right, let's get started, then. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start uh, splitting things off. First and foremost, everybody always knows you need another, uh, yeah, one construction office is not enough. You definitely need two of these bad boys. So I'm going to pop another one down, maybe over here. We'll build another road that swings around there later. And then also a Teamsters office, too. The more Teamsters, the better. This is essentially like your trucking company on the island. It's uh, what gets supplies from point A to point B. Okay, we've got uh, plenty of houses here, but not enough yet. We better give our uh, folks some places to live. So let's get some more bunkhouses down. And right now we work for the crown, but remember, Viva la Revolution, coming very soon. Coming soon to a neighborhood near you, a revolution. All right, let's get some more crops down so we can have some more export. Uh, we can export uh, coconuts and all sorts of different things, but right now it seems that they wanted us... Oh, I accidentally clicked the ranch. Mm, that makes me hungry for some nuggets. Let's go ahead and go with sugar eventually, but let's do some pineapple right now. And it looks like a perfect spot to put it right over here. So we'll go ahead and build those right next to the little uh, hill there. Perfect. And we'll build a little, nice little house out front. So that way the workers have a place to stay just on the other side. Housing is uh, going to be very plentiful on this island. Uh-oh. Our approval rating is plummeting. Hey, who's living out in front of my palace like that? You get out of here. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we'll build a road to it eventually. It doesn't need to be connected, so it's going to be very beautiful soon enough. I think we could demo some of the stuff. But that's going to be cool. Look at that. You can see that all the way down from the dock. Raptor's keeping an eye on you, so make sure you behave. All right, let's see. We're going to export some pineapple, then we'll accept that trade route. Completing trade routes will allow our mandate to extend, which, of course, basically means in five years and ten months. If we uh, do not please the crown enough, we're out. Oh, boy, look at all those homes. All right, so let's speed up time a little bit. We're going to uh, pace times two now, and uh, let's see what else we have out here for... Uh, maybe we could do some mining, too. Uh, I think a good thing, though, would be a pineapple, or rather a coconut harvester. That might be a good start for us. Somewhere over here, I think, might be a good spot. At least we'll get some stuff uh, exported. A little extra money for us. Money's going to be important here at the start. And let's build another plantation of sugar. And let's get that rum going right away. We're going to get crunk on this island. And by crunk, I mean legally, responsibly, intoxicated. All right, let's go ahead and build uh, maybe over here. I think this might be a good spot over here. Right about here. There we go. That's a good start. We'll fill in the island with uh, maybe a couple of ranches over here and some more sugar plantations in that direction. Love the music in Tropico. You cannot have a Tropico game without wonderful music such as this. This literally makes the game. This is so awesome. There we go. Just filling in some spaces here, building some roadways around. Should be able to build ourselves a nice little island paradise here soon enough. Looks like we already started with a chapel. That's good. And we can build some decorations and things around. But All right, looks like we got a nice start. We can build some buildings this direction. All right, ooh, approval rating up to 59. Very nice. All right, let's extend. Uh, looks like we got plenty of workers. Good. All right, so they're doing their thing. 
Oh, yes, another Teamster's office completed. Fantastic. Ooh, look, nice little decorations next to it. All right, good. And, uh, oh, yep, yeah, there goes another one. Bunkhouse going up, then the plantations. Very good. All right, we got about 150 population, 152, so we can definitely start doing all sorts of different things. Let's go with another industry here. Maybe we should build our rum distillery before we go any further. And we'll probably want to build our industry closer to the uh, docks, so that way once it's all complete, it can go straight to the docks. Let's build one there. Very good. So uh, a rum distillery, of course, makes rum from sugar, and then you can uh, export that for quite a pretty penny. And you can also do pirate raids, too. So we better build our pirate cove as well. Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell Don't tell the crown. Don't tattle. We, w we want to do this uh, ASAP. I always forget where it is. Government and finance, public services. I can't ever <laughs> remember where it's under... Actually, that'd be funny if it was under entertainment. Let's see. I think it's under raids and military. There we go. All right. Shh, don't tell anyone about our private co pirate cove. Our pi a private pirate cove. Don't tell nobody. Shh. Right, let's build it over here. That's a cool spot. This will help us with the layout. First and foremost, we're going to start our layout. So that way everyone has a nice place to live. And according to what I hear, here, by the way, uh, the country home has a little garden next to it, which means that you, they won't eat any food from the city, like they have their own garden. So that's kind of a nice way to uh, save on some cash and allow them to eat whatever they want. All right, good. Looks like everything's going well. I kind of want to build a mine now. Governor, the uh -oh. people have a request. Okay. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Oh, don't worry. I'm way ahead of you, Sofia. Sofia Ortega is going to be our revolutionary here, who is going to lead us Excuse to liberation. Me, old I need a teensy tiny favor. Right away, old boy. All right. So we need to have a tannery, which probably means we should build a uh, a uh, ranch of some sort. Now, don't get hungry. It's not that type of ranch. It's the... Well, actually, no, it is. That is that type of ranch, yes. I'm also thinking of the dipping sauce. All right. We should build some ranches over here. So that way we have ourselves a little bit of uh, room for a tannery. If we build two... I think, actually, cattle uh, not only produces meat, yeah, but also hides, too. So we can export things like wool, milk from sheep. Crocodile gives us leather. Pig gives us meat. Wool from the llama and goat. So those are all important. Okay, let's get a tannery going, then, according to our orders from the crown. Yeah, Let's go ahead and put that down under industry buildings. We find the tannery for 6,000. And we'll build that right over next to the, uh, I think we can squeeze it in right there next to the docks. Perfect. Sorry to displace all of you uh, homeless people, but actually they should be living in the bunkhouses. Oh yeah, looks like people are moving in. Very good. Okay. Well, they just need to actually move in. Some of these people I think are too poor, but that's just because they don't have jobs. We actually have a tremendous problem with unemployment. 91 unemployed citizens. But that's why we're making all these, uh, look at that. There we go. Business is going up like crazy. All right, good. We'll build a road to the Pirate Cove as soon as that's done. And I feel like I want to build some more uh, sugar uh, plantations, so let's build another one of that. This music, dude, has just got me dancing in my chair. I love that piano. Dun, 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 dun. It goes up and down. I just love that. All right, I keep clicking the wrong building. The ranch to me always looks like a farm. It's the plantation that we want. There we go. Oh, this is going to look splendid. Right next to the other one. Perfect. And actually, if you build a ranch next to these buildings, too, I think you get a bonus of being able to use the manure directly next to the building uh, to make the crops more fertile. All right, speaking of uh, crops, let's make sure we didn't put anything on. Oh, very good. We got a coal mine there. Oh, looks like we got an iron mine just down in town. Uh, we probably can't build there now because that's literally downtown, but the coal mine might be important. However, I will say ore will probably give us a real big economical boost, so let's build that right there right at the end of the road and we'll move it eventually the mine will run out of uh, material and then once it does we can go ahead and uh, just connect it to uh, somewhere else find a different spot all right very nice got ourselves a little road going over here all right now there's also mines up here too I believe there's resources of uh, coal and iron ore all around here too but we had to get the palace up top where it looks nice <gasps> here comes our boat oh a steamship there we are that's going to be bringing us money. Looks like it brought... Uh, oh, wow, look at all the money we made. 614 plus 2,000 and a couple of immigrants moving in. Welcome. Welcome to Tropico. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what we need to build? One thing that starts getting you a ton of money, too, is if you build a custom office. Oh, darn, that's only in the World War. All right, what else can we do to help out our citizens? Well, let's make things not boring. Let's go with some entertainment. Let's build a tavern or two. Yeah, we're just going to... Oh, probably don't want to build that over by the church. That might pe make people think twice. Yeah, we'll just build it on the other side. There we go. Perfect. Also, the chapel's kind of pointed the wrong way. Kind of... Well, whatever. It's okay. All right. Bunkhouses are going up. Plantations are going up. All right, let's speed up some time here. 
Now we're at times four. Excellent. And our uh, pirate cove will be going up soon as well. So over on this other island, we also have, I believe, uranium or aluminum or something over there that's very important. Alu aluminium for those of you in the UK. And then also I think there's... I think actually the uranium's over here. And there's something else over here. It's nickel. So nickel is over here, which is needed to uh, build weapons. I've seen this map before, so I kind of know where everything's laid out. So I think we're off to a really great start for our sandbox. All right, let's go ahead and build a few more bunkhouses. Actually, I don't even... I think maybe pricing is too high. Some of these people aren't occupying them, but it does take them a little bit of time to feel uh, comfortable moving in. But uh, also, I don't want to give everyone everything at once. Otherwise, we go bankrupt, and bankrupt, as the French would say, is no bueno. Actually, Raptor, that's Spanish. Yes, it is. Yes. Si. Comprende. All right. So let's see. we got buildings going up. Look at the build mode in this game. That is awesome. So if we're going to build a big army, we're going to need a big population. If we're going to go with tourism, we're definitely going to need to save an island for tourism. That looks beautiful. Probably this island, maybe. And if we're going to build ourselves a, uh, like a communist uh, haven well, or something like that, right we'll have to do the same which thing. Which is whatever the crown says it is. Yes. Cream tea? Extend the mandate by 18 months, please. All right, the revolution is demanding a pirate cove. So we'll be on to building that very soon. Let's build a little road that goes out there. And I think we'll just build a nice little road that sneaks by. And uh, maybe, can we connect up here? Oh, we sure can. Very nice. This music, dude. Always makes me feel like I'm in a... It's a party when you're in Tropico. Arapico? I don't know. We'll have to find out a name. All right, let's start trading as we need. Uh, we have... Have we built a pineapple plantation? I did, didn't I, up here? Good. Let's start trading pineapples so we can make some more money. So let's do that. And we can also trade with black markets, too, and make more money that way. Look, we can also trade hides. So let's do that. Buy a trade license for that. Uh, we're going to start exporting hides. Very good. We get extra bonuses for doing that. We can also export planks and leather. Um, actually, wait a minute. We have a tannery, so let's do that instead. Let's cancel the hides and go with the tannery. Uh, so leather. And then I want one more for uh, hmm, gold. Well, we're exporting... Oh, rum. Yeah, we gotta get, we got to get some more trade deals going. Let's make that money. Regardless of which way we go, we're going to need cash. Uh, where is that again? Uh-oh. Something does not feel quite right, Governor. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. That's right, Polnaltimo. Have a re revolutionary approval of 60. We're getting there, and 60% of the population supported. Oh, we're getting there. All right, let's go uh, buy another trade license. These can be expensive at the start, but they're very important, especially later in the game. So let's go with, uh, let's export, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, uh, rum. Uh-oh, looks like we only import rum now. Well, we can also export uh, planks. Wasn't there an option for that? Sometimes these change frequently, so I guess it changed just before we got here, but we'll use it in a minute. Oh, looks like we can double down on our leather exports. Let's do that. Fantastic. And we will start exporting rum as soon as we can. All right, let's do a little bit of logging. How many unemployed do we have still? Let's see. 57. Good, unemployment. Our revolution oh. is as yet only marginally oh, glorious. Yeah. But with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. We are going to make it so. Give me some 10 revolutionaries. And let's go on our first pirate raid. Yar. Let's go out and uh, let's see. We can rescue people, bring more workers to the town. We can look for uh, treasure, we can rescue only the educated, or we can go on a heist. <gasps> All of these give you a different bonus depending on what you bring in. I wish they would tell you what it does. I know for sure if you get the Brandenburg Gate, it gives you a more political stability. Uh, the Hagia Sophia, I believe, is in Turkey, India, and then, of course, the UK and Germany there. But I think for now, perhaps we should just import things that we can export, such as logs, pineapple, coal. Those seem to be things that the crown is buying. And that we can export as well for more money later. So let's just mix it up. Let's go just go with a different one each time. And then also rescue some people. And then educated. And then uh, go on a treasure hunt. Why not? All right. So the pirates work like regular employees. But again, don't tell the crown. All right. Let's see. Another available trade license. Oh, wow. Lots of trading going on here. Uh, I think we'll be good for a minute. Let's make some more industries so we can support that. Actually, I want to build a road up here and build the rest of them into farms. So let's go up this direction. If we can. I'll build a road going down this way. There we go. A little difficult to build roads in this game sometimes. Just close to the beach. Maybe not across the beach. There we go. Eh, that's perfect. I guess about as good as we're going to get here in Tropico. Sometimes good enough is good enough. 
Oh, we need a fisherman's wharf, too. Okay, let's see. We also want to export tobacco. There's a great spot to uh, put tobacco up there. We can make a cigar factory eventually. Heavy industrialization will give us plenty of profits. All right, let's go with that one. And then let's see. Oh, we also should make sure we are not building on top of a mine. We have a coal mine here that we can build. Let's do that. And then let's do another plantation for what? Sugar, cocoa, coffee. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Good, we got a little bit of everything for crops. So we can always have a trade deal going. Fantastic. And that'll take up a lot of the workers. So let's build some houses over where they'll live. So they don't have to walk too far. Kind of helpful if you lay them out ahead of time. That way you uh, kind of plan out your city a little bit ahead of time. So far, so good. Our beautiful island is looking beautiful. Glad to be playing a, a sandbox series. I've actually live-streamed this game quite a few times and learned a lot from you guys as well. People giving tips, people watching other people play I must play say, it. I'm glad it's to awesome. be still working with you. Extend Finding my mandate, good please. help is so difficult these days. Yes. Perfect. All right, I'm going to keep extending our mandate so that way it gives us time to have our wonderful revolution. Let's see. Let's continue to export pineapples. We'll make some extra money from that. There's our tannery. Very nice. Wow, that's a really cool building. Very cool. All right, uh, we need to build the chapel for the revolutionaries. Let's make that a high-priority construction. We can also do quick build, too, but that'll be a little costly. At the start, we don't really have much money. We're broke. I need the money, so we have to make it by doing this. Alright, how many are unemployed now? 29! That's great! Much more. Much more to do. Actually, wait. Are we still building some industries? Ah, yes. We still have our uh, isn't this a farm here being built? There they go. They're about ready with that building. The cool thing it's is, nice is the arrows go on. It's nice to choices, isn't it? Uh, the choices like continuous oh. Got it. Yeah, the cool thing is, is these buildings, uh, the cranes and such will change depending on what year it is as well. So right now it's those old school buildings. Ah, here we are. Speaking of buildings, there goes our uh, newspaper. And they should be building the chapel, though. I made it high priority. Okay. I want to build some more mines as well. If we don't have enough worker... Ooh, actually, we have a lot of people moving into town. We should worry about that. Let's build a logging mill. Let's do that. And in fact, we'll do it by El Presidente's uh, palace. we get, we got to clear out those trees so I can extend and put a tennis court on there. You know, for the people. For the people. Not for me. For the people. All right, we'll build a logging camp on either side, and we'll put a lumber mill up top. Let's do that. Under industry is the lumber mill. Very nice. And we'll put a couple of houses here, too. A couple of bunk houses, that is. There we go. Perfect. 
I think we have more than enough housing. We just need people to move in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All those open spaces. We can lower the prices, but don't want to be too nice just yet as El Presidente. I have to be a firm, but very attractive and handsome leader. Uh, but I have to have, rule with a... Well, I'm not, maybe not an iron fist, but maybe more like a, a tin can fist, you know? You gotta be a little, little, little flexible. Viva la revolucion! Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. Viva Tropico. All right, we'll take the ten revolutionary uh, immigrants. They'll come in the next time, getting us closer to our goal. Well, you did the right thing. Thank which you, sir. Is Extend that mandate. All right, things are flying in now. We got a good approval rating. What else can we do? Oh, and we're out of sugar over here at the rum distillery. Good upgrade that you definitely want to get is the Dunder Mifflin. I mean, the Dunder Still. It, it decreases sugar consumption by 25%, so that means that you won't need as much sugar over here. It'll take a little while for them to get the sugar, but as you can see, look at that. They're already cooking away. We actually might want to build another uh, distillery. Let's build it on the other side. Let's make sure they're even. Uh oh How big is that building? I think we'll build it right there. Perfect. There we go. We'll build a little road coming over here. Uh-oh. Looks like we're a little short. Can I move the building? Focus on building. Cancel construction. Uh, we'll build it a little bit further back then. Also, this game should allow you to move buildings a little, little easier. I'd appreciate that. I hope we can actually make it through. We better build the road first this time. Alright. Let's see. Uh oh. No, I want my, tr I want my Tropico Distillery. Uh oh. Oh, I don't think it could fit. We'll have to build a road out there, but that doesn't fit. Oh, we can build it this way though. There we go. And we'll just build a road in front. Yay! We did it. Cool. Now the industrial buildings have plenty of roads. Very good. All right, 212 immigrants. We went from nothing to something, at least. Governor, the people have a request. Oh, no problem. Build a tavern? Yes, ma'am. Let's get that done. Building a circus is kind of a weird thing to start with. We'll do that another time. We'll do that eventually. Let's build... Oh, yeah, also, I think this is broken. This is supposed to... Uh, this uh, view is supposed to show you fun and such. As you can see, everything's green, which means it's super fun. But if you go into overlays, and if you go to, I think... Uh, what is it? People? City? If you look at, uh, what is it, fun coverage, you'll see not so fun over here in some of these areas. So you have to look at this view to find out where things are not as fun. So we'll build a tavern there. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? All right, we'll build a dungeon. It'll be cool. It'll look sweet. All right, let's trade some more pineapple. We actually have some cows now, so let's trade some meat too. That'll be a good business deal, I think. Making big business deals. Big business. Big. Oh, we have research points to spend too. Let's look for advanced boat services. That means that the Teamster ports, tourist ports, and docks 50% faster, basically. Ships are 5% faster, so we're going to make more money faster that way. So let's research that. Next thing. Uh, what was I going to do next? Taverns are being built. Lumber mills going up as well. You can see all the things we can build. Juicery, pharmaceutical companies, fashion company. That's not available until modern times, though. Uh, let's see. Ranch mine. Oh, yes, our Teamster port as well. Okay. Ah, yes, we can do tourism soon enough. We're looking for the dungeon now, which I guess is here. So we'll build that uh, somewhere out of town. Let's build that by the... Uh, let's build over by the Pirate Cove. It'll look cool over there. There we go. Old school part of town over there. Like, even older school than what it is now. Oh, and look at the wonderful plantations. They are almost done with their crops for the year. Oh, wonderful. And the bunkhouses are going up, and the lumber mills are cutting them down. Very nice. Essentially, I want to clear-cut this area and make it a place for elite housing or something like that. I think maybe we'll go uh, Capitalist Paradise. I don't know. You guys are going to have to choose. I can't wait to specialize in something eventually. Big O Industry? I don't know. I think that's the name of the first company I'm ever going to start. It's called Big O Industry. What do we specialize in? Big Industry. What industry? I don't know yet, but we'll find out soon. All right, look at that. Lots of logs here and lots of planks going out. That's going to make lots Our of money. revolution is as yet only marginally glorious. Excellent. Give me more of those immigrants. We're going to have ourselves a revolution here in no time on this wonderful island. Oh, and look at that. We got, yes, another building built. More people working here. Look at the sugar being pumped out. Look at that. Turned into rum. That's going to bring in some money. All right, our money's low now, but don't you worry. 
We got multiple teamsters there delivering bananas and iron and meat and everything else. I must else. say, I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. Yes. All right. Let's go for the money this time. Don't need the mandate extended. I'm going to kick the Brits out by then. I do want to go for another Teamster office. You might think I'm crazy, but everyone always says this game, you need about 700,000 Teamsters and about three people mining. That's usually how it goes. I mean, you need somebody to stand around waiting while someone else is doing their job. Just like in... to plantation for sugar. Oh, isn't that sweet? There we go. All right, that's going to be for a ranch there. So let's build another one up here. We need even more, more sugar. More, Governor, more. Always more. I was just saying Up that. to it. The crown demands. Absolutely, they sure do. All right, El Rapidente. I don't know, I'll have to come up with a name for myself. El, El Presidente. Raptor. Well, Our whatever. Our revolution is as yet only marginally Yes, glorious. indeed. But with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. Give me them immigrants. All right. Me and the people are going to see you in our next episode. So if you want to see a full playthrough on the sandbox of Tropico, it's going to be a long one. So make sure you click or tap that like button, share with a friend. Go ahead and comment down below on what you want me to do next and what I should do better or more of. And make sure you go ahead and check out the playlist for this one because it's going to be a wonderful time here on our wonderful island. All right, I will see you all next time. Thanks for being here. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you soon. Wow, you're already leaving. Bye. Oh, there goes our boat. There, there, that's you. That's you going over there. Bye. All right, see you next time, everybody.